Welcome to Health Coach for Women. Intentional living for more happiness and fulfillment in your everyday life with your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Join Marsha as she shares her own personal wellness journey, as well as stories from our guests that will enlighten and inspire you to move towards better health and happiness. Now, here's your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Welcome. Today I'd like to talk to you about manifestation. Is it possible? Can you really manifest what you want, what you desire? The answer is yes, you can. You can truly manifest what it is you want when you truly focus your intention Eliminate negative thoughts and believe in what you want. Believe that you can have what it is that you want. It starts with a mindset. You have to be in a mindset where you believe that anything is possible. If you are operating from a place of fear, then that definitely will not work. What you're trying to manifest will not happen. Let me say that again. If you are operating from a place of fear, what you are trying to manifest will not happen. Okay? So if, for example, if you are focusing on, if let's just say you want to manifest, um, I don't know, a spouse, right? Uh, Meeting someone, having a spouse, getting married, having a spouse. Um, Yet you're focusing all the things that you don't want in the person, right? Rather than what you do want. Well, you're only going to attract more of what you don't want because you're focusing on what you don't want. So what you don't want is being manifested. You have to focus on what it is you truly want, what it is that you really want. Um, it can definitely happen. It has happened for me on different occasions. And it can happen if you truly train your mind and change your negative thinking. So one of the things for me, um, back when I was living in Atlanta, you know, I had a magazine blog called Naya Mag. Um, it was a blog magazine. I did interview a few people, upcoming artists, and um, some people who are also known celebrities, uh, Donnell Jones, um, what's the comedian name? I forget, but uh, Tony Tony, singer Tony Terry. Um, So I was able to interview a few people and some people who um, were just coming out. So which was, it was exciting and it was interesting at the time. So I enjoyed that for the moment or whatever. Um, but it became too much trying to run a magazine blog and trying to do it by yourself. Um, I had a couple of writers, a few writers who didn't mind writing articles for me. So it was nice, but uh, it really wasn't the direction that I wanted it to go. Um, but I enjoyed it for the moment that I did it. So I did some things that some people um, haven't been able to accomplish. So I did it. Um, so... Uh, at one point, I was saying to myself, you know, you know, well, I need to get on the radio. I need to get on the radio. Uh, it needs more. I need more attention where to bring more awareness to what I'm doing with the blog. Um, and again, that was focused on women. So you see, I always had that desire on focusing on women, uh, even though I interviewed uh, male uh, males as well. So it it, it kind of shifted because, again, with that. I wasn't sure of the which direction I was going. But anyway, and so I said to myself, um, I want to get, I need to get on the radio. You know, I need to get on the radio. And so what happened was um in the process and at that time during that process, um, I was actually in the process of um selling my rental property there that I had. And um 
I came across a, a realtor. He sold real estate. And we were just talking, just uh, talking about different things with the real estate and things like that. And he talked about, you know, a radio show. And we were talking. It was I found it so interesting. I was like, wow, okay, really? I said, oh, that's nice. That's interesting. We talked and we talked. And make a long story short, you know, he wanted me to be a part uh his co-host. You know, who would have thought? So there was um, co-hosting with him. Um, unfortunately, that was short-lived, but the experience with that, it didn't last long because we had to do, um, we had to raise money. So if we didn't receive sponsorship, you know, you would have to pay for it on your own. So the funds, we would, didn't have access to the funds at the time to keep it going, to keep it going, to keep it running. But I tell you, it was, it was an interesting experience. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, we actually would go into the station and, um, and, and have these interviews, um, and, and talk about different discussions, right? And, um, it was quite interesting. But the point I'm trying to make is that you can manifest whatever it is that you want. You can manifest those things on which you desire. Uh, and I will give you another example. Um, of where, of when I was working on, this is when I was doing that, I was starting out, just starting out doing the health coaching, just really starting it and, and trying to come up, um, with some ideas on what to do. And, you know, and I was just, you know, praying to myself in my head, you know, just God, just, you know, fi- you know, allow me to help me, you know, put someone in, 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 in my presence that can help me, um, to, you know, uh, put my course together or help me with my, um, my coaching business. Um, no, someone can help me where, and I don't have to pay them the funds because at the time I didn't have the funds anyway. And I think that was during a period where I wasn't working. Yeah. I wasn't really working at the time. So, so funds were uh, low. Um, and I don't know. It was, uh, I can't really explain it, but I believe it was that same day, if I'm not mistaken. And I tell you, I, was it a phone call or email? Somehow I think some, the person reached out and sent me an email or something. Uh, it's vaguely, I remember it vaguely, but what I do remember for sure after having the conversation with him Everything that I was asking for is what the ge- the gentleman repeated to me. He said, I want to help you. I don't know what made me call you, you know, because I was looking at different people, but I landed and I saw your picture and I stopped with you. I don't know what it is that made me call you, but I'd like to work with you where we can partner and do yada, 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 whatever. Right. And he said, and I don't want anything from you. Of course, literally my mouth opened, right? I was like, well, I just prayed for this and it just happened. And I was like, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, this is really something. This Is is this really happening? You know, it was just like too good to be true. I learned a lot from that individual. And it's actually how I came up with the idea to create my online course. Um, it was, I've learned a lot from that individual. Um, we didn't go any further. We did work f- together for a little while, um, but we didn't um, stay working together uh, due to some slight differences. Um, but uh, meeting the person uh, and interacting with the person, very helpful, uh, very uh, knowledgeable in a lot of things. And um it was great, the experience of what I learned from him, uh, what I benefited from, uh, the takeaways on, on, on certain things as far as business is concerned. So it was a true blessing. I was grateful for the experience. But um, I will tell you that it is definitely possible to manifest the things that you that you desire. Um, you have to operate in a place of positivity. I would say being positive, 
um, being open-minded, um, being willing to receive what is for you, right? Being willing, you have to have that willingness. You have to be open. You have to be willing to receive it. Um, and you have to believe it. You know, belief is the main thing. And when you desire something and you believe it, um, there's no reason why you can't achieve it. So everything is uh, already written, right? So and that's, that's what I believe. Everything is already written. Um, but I believe what is for you will come for you. It may not be in the timing Right, the timing may not be when you want it to happen because you can have a manifestation that can happen quickly, and you can have something that'll that you will uh, can obtain gradually, right? And these things can can happen for whatever reason, you know. Only I would say, you know, God knows best. I don't know, you know, but um, it can happen for you. Uh, in due time. So sometimes we wonder why things aren't happening as quickly as we would like them to happen. Well, it could be, it could be that you're not ready yet, right? It could be that you are not ready to handle it. Let's just, I'm going to give an example of, well, maybe for you, you are desiring to become wealthy. I don't know. You want to be a millionaire. Um, but at the present moment, this is what you're asking for. This is what you're, you're trying to manifest, right? Um, but at the same time, you mismanage your money. You are not good with managing money. So in that, you, you see the conflict there? There's a conflict where what you are trying to achieve and what you're doing and the thing that you're trying to achieve does not line up. So because they don't line up and there is, it's, it's impossible for that to manifest for you. Yes, you can probably experience a, a, some form of increase, right? You can experience that. You can get some form of increase. You know, that does happen, right? But the, the ultimate thing of what you're trying to achieve may not happen simply because, uh, you are not in the proper alignment. Now, if you are good with managing money, you're good, you're good, you know, you, you can balance your, your money to a T, you know, um, then in that case, yeah, it doesn't come without work. You, you, you know, you do have to do some work also, you know, there is work, uh, that is required, you know, that has to be done, you know, and, and part of it again is that mindset, right? And when you are, are looking to achieve something, you know, you actually, you get, you have to have a plan. You have to have a strategic plan and what you want and how you want it and when you want to do it. You know, everything has to be thoughtfully, uh, planned out, right? It may not even come, like I said, on the exact date that you may set for yourself, the exact timing. Um, but eventually, um, by taking, uh, the right, pro the proper steps to manifest what you want. Um, it can truly happen. It can happen. <clears throat> so I can give you another example. Uh, another example was when before I met my husband, my hu who is now my husband, um, before I met him, I prayed for what I wanted, the type of person that I wanted, right? I asked God for what I wanted, you know, someone who is God-fearing that and who believes as I believe, uh, right? And, um, tall, uh, <laughs> easy on the eyes, um, someone who allows me to be free, to be myself, to be who I am. And, 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 um, I'm trying to remember all the things of what I was asking for. Um, but someone who is basically easygoing, um, not, uh, basically I, w I don't want to say not because I didn't want to say not, and what I wanted. I was just want to say someone who allows me to be me, allows me to be free and express myself as an individual and in being myself, being who I am, Marsha. And so that was my prayer. And, and, you know, and that's who I end up meeting. I end up meeting 
um, that person who was everything that I asked for. And so when you're asking for something and you want it to manifest, you need to be very specific and clear in what it is that you want. It's just like when you are communicating to someone, you know, and you, you're saying that, you know, you want this red bag, you know, well, how big is the bag? What kind of bag? What's the name of the bag? If it has a name brand or it doesn't have a name brand, you know, what type, what size, um, what uh, type of fabric is the bag? So you have to be very specific. You have to be clear in what it is that you desire. Be willing uh, to uh, accept where you are, right? And don't focus on what you don't have, you know, you must be able to focus on uh, the things that you already have uh, and, and by being grateful. So by being grateful, that's also a part in uh, manifesting what it is that you want. Because if you are ungrateful, all right, so you're asking for certain things and, and you want these things, yet you're ungrateful for the things and you're complaining of the things um, that you lack, you know, you will find yourself attracting and pulling more of what you lack towards you. So again, the, the mind is very powerful and you have to learn how to reframe that, uh, those things, um, by not focusing on, on the things that you don't have focusing by, but you do have to focus more on the things that what you do want and believing that is possible for you. Uh, keeping that attitude of gratitude is always, is always important, right? And by just saying thank you, um, being more grateful, thankful for the things that you uh, that currently have and um, bringing more of what you want to you by uh, being open to receive, um, being open to receive and be a being able to manifest what you want. Um, you have to also be humble and um, not be arrogant uh, in a way that you feel um, that because what you are manifesting uh, now you are I don't know, there's someone who is, um, oh, well, I'm able to do this and I'm able to do that. I can manifest this. You know, you have to be in a place to, I, I, I just speaking from my experience, I don't know, maybe there's someone else who's, who've experienced something differently, but uh, always remaining humble with some humility, uh, and being grateful. Again, I can't stress that enough how important it is to be grateful. And uh, doing something uh, nice for someone else, you know, just um, being kind to someone else, you know, all of these things are important as you grow and evolve as a um, person, right, as an individual. So you can manifest what it is that you want, you know, like I said, whether it be a spouse uh, or a good job, a different kind of job, uh, where it's paying more money. You know, you, what value, um, would you say that you have for yourself? Do you feel that you are deserving and worthy enough to obtain that job or to obtain that spouse that you seek or, you know, um, whatever it is that you desire, that house or that car, whatever it is that you are striving for? You know, you have to be willing to, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to be willing to uh, keep that positive frame of mind, believing that you are worthy enough in, to receive the things that you want. Because again, if you're operating from a place of uh, fear, operating on a place of low self-esteem, meaning so you're saying these things, but you really truly don't believe it in your heart. Uh, if you don't believe it in your heart, um, you can say it a thousand times, three times a day. It's it's not going to work. So it's believing in yourself, believing in your capabilities, um, believing that you're worthy and you're good enough, right? 
to have the things that you desire. And it's okay. No one is saying that you have to be this perfect human being because we are all imperfect. We are all uh, with some type of flaw, whatever it is. Um, and so with that being said, and I like to say um, perfectly, I'm perfectly imperfect. Uh, and because that's pretty normal. Uh, no one here on this planet is a perfect human being, right? Um, you can have great and beautiful qualities, right? But there could still be something where there's always room for improvement on whatever it is, you know? So um, we're always uh, a work in progress. So having, being able to manifest uh, again, is possible, but it starts with your mindset. Um, you must be um, in alignment, right? So you you must be in alignment. So, and again, I use that. I use the example of you wanting to be a millionaire, but you're horrible at budgeting. You're not good at money management. Okay, so there's no there's a misalignment there. There's no alignment. Um, you want a great spouse. But you know you still have stuff with yourself that you need to work on, right? You want a good man. So what you attract is a reflection of you. What you attract is a reflection of you. So uh, you want this good person, this good man, but instead you you may have uh, gotten someone who is um, maybe um, controlling or demanding or um, maybe he is an alcoholic or maybe he's just um, just disrespectful. And and so you have to ask yourself, why uh, do you keep choosing? Because we choose, right? So why do I keep choosing that same type of person? So that's when you have to look within to see what it is that you are doing and wh what you bring to the table of why you keep attracting the same kind of individual. So if you want to find someone who is that great man, that great person, um, that great individual um, who is loving and caring, you yourself have to be that great loving and caring person as well, right? Um, so you want that person to be a reflection of you, not that they are you, Right, but a reflection of you because you attract uh, what you are or what you feel you are worth, if that makes sense. So I'm hoping that that makes sense. Um, but that is the bulk of that. Now, um, manifestation uh, is 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 possible um, by taking doing those little simple s steps uh, and having abundance, and so you can. Say little things to yourself, uh, things as, um, you know, I'm healthy and, and healthy, happy, wealthy and strong. I have abundance in all areas of my life, you know, in my health, uh, in my career, in my marriage or my relationship, in my finances. My finances are strong. They're getting stronger and stronger every day. Uh, and believing that, believing that and carrying out in addition to that belief, uh, the action behind that belief and that thought process, all right, right? Because everything has to be, again, in an, in an alignment. If there is misalignment, and then it's, it, it, it just doesn't work, right? So it, it, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. So, um, I know that for my experience, it doesn't work like that. And for other people and other experts and people um, that I've listened to, um, and they say the same thing, you know, you have to be in alignment, you know, that uh, you can't say you want this, yet, yet you are this. So that is the whole point here of the message I'm trying to make. And I'm and I'm so that is all I have for you today on this episode of manifesting what you desire. Uh, I hope that you will please, when you are able to, please go ahead and write a review, um, share your comments, thoughts. Uh, I would love to get feedback from you all. I thank you again for listening in and appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.
And I also would like to mention, which I almost forgot to mention, if you want to be a part of my upcoming program, it's a six-week live course, live training program, Transform and Be Extraordinary, six-week live training program on how to get unstuck, live with purpose and intention, intentional living. Please reach out so that we can schedule a call and see if you're a right fit. Thank you so much for listening to Health Coach for Women with your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please be sure to rate, subscribe, and review on your preferred podcast listening platform. We really appreciate that effort. Until next time.